hey guys welcome back today we're going over the p louise bases oh yeah this is rumor zero and this is rumor 01 today we're going to mainly use rumor 01 there she is I got these for a gift for Christmas and so I've been using them and playing them just to see how they work because they definitely work differently than any other eye base, uh, eye primers, concealers, that kind of stuff. So I wanted to play with them before I jumped in to give you guys a video. I've done research on them, um, just seeing how they work and play and all that kind of stuff. Use them on myself, I've used them on clients because I got um, shades zero, one, two four and five i also have a blue and orange and we also got some acid rain shades so um we'll break everything down slowly because i feel like these aren't something we should just hop right in <laughs> to there's so much that goes into these um but this is if you can see it here this is my perfect shade this isn't anything brighter or anything like that but this is rumor 01 this is what I use on my base or as a concealer, which is going to brighten under my eye area um, and everything like that. Now, these are her eye bases. These do not crease. Um, these, um, you when you go to put them on your eye, you do need to do a pat motion. You pat them on. And then when you go to put your eyeshadow on, you do what's called a dump. So you just take the shit on your brush and you dump where you want it. And then later on, once you're done dumping where you want it, you then blend with a clean brush. That's how you've seen in all of her videos explained. If you go to Morphe's website where they where they are now carried, um, she describes that in her videos. If you watch any of her videos on Instagram that she talks about, uh, her P. Louise Academy, um, they also do a lot of these techniques over and over again. And as I've played with them, this is exactly what it does. The, these bases are extremely creamy, extremely wet, um, and they're not like super thick like I expected them to be. You put them on and as soon as you start patting your eyeshadow into it, you can see where it just sticks and all of a sudden the eyeshadow just disappears. Generally when you're using a primer or a concealer, you see where that stops. You just kind of keep patting and blending and it kind of just keeps going. These bases don't do that. You pat where you want it and all of a sudden there's no eyeshadow moving anymore until you start blending it out. And it only blends as far as you allow it to, as far as you keep blending it out with that clean brush that you choose from. So to keep all these things in mind when you're working, you always wanna have a brush particularly for that color. You always want a clean brush for that blend that you wanna do. Now the nice thing about this is they don't, like I said, they don't crease. Um, and they also don't give out on you. So any working makeup artist or any makeup enthusiast, when you're going in and you're working on your eye, and all of a sudden you've done too much rubbing and that there's a patch and it gives out on you. Um, and you really can't go in and repair that. You really have to redo the entire eye. Um, these won't do that to you. You can go in and dump as many times as you want on that shade and blend. We all know as we're doing any type of eye work, you're putting a shade in you're blending. Then you do another shade, you blend again. And sometimes you have to go back in to deepen that previous color. And every time you add, we may need to go back in and do that dump and blend again, just to keep it all seamless, cohesive, and vibrant the way we want it. We want to add depth to that. I wouldn't want to see all the colors and their transition in such a small space. Remember that. These products will do that for you without you doing a lot of work. So today what I wanted to do was I already put my brows on for you and I carved them out with the P. Louise base for you um, in Rumor 01, which is my base. Um, and a lot of people like to go a little bit lighter and they fan it all the way out. I just did carved my brows underneath and a little bit on the tail with this. Um, and then we're going to use it on the base. And I wanted to do a colorful look for you guys because I wanted the first video to really show you how these work well. And then what I'll do at the end of this video, once I put the whole look together, I'll show you how I blend it into my foundation to show you how it's going to really work with everything like that. Because these also color correct for you. You're not going to need to carry a color corrector anymore, which is really great. So it's great that it's going to do multiple things for you. It's going to do three things. And one, it's going to be your eye primer. 
It's going to be your concealer. It's going to be your color corrector. This is a big thing, not only for you as a consumer, a makeup enthusiast, but also from any working makeup artist. That means less things to pack. We want products that are going to be multifunctional for us. So these are all the great things that I found with this. Um, it sets really easily, really well, but like I said, it's really wet, but it's not as heavy as I thought it would be. You really think it's going to be like thick, like Tarte's Shape Tape or... Um, Maybelline's Master Conceal. Some of these are really thick and you go on and they're so pigmented. You go to blend and it's already drying because there's so much pigment in there. These just aren't like that. They're not drying quickly on you. They're staying tacky um, for you. And generally when I go to put these on as well, I work one eye at a time. I don't put it down and then go and work on that, that space later on. I work as, I put it down as I'm working and then go to the next space, put it down and then work it in that kind of stuff but I'm going to show you guys how it all works in action we're not going to do anything too over the top I think this P. Louise base is going to be a little bit of a series though I think I think we need to do show you something colorful we're going to, need to show you something a little neutral we're going to show you how the color bases work because the color bases are a little different I'm still working on those and acid rain is a whole other ball game which I have barely touched um, but they're amazing as well. So like I said, this might be a little bit of a series to learn. She's launching new products as well. It's, it looks like it's going to be a big year for her. And everything I've learned and read and heard, the UK is far past anything America is doing when it comes to makeup. They're above and beyond when it comes to makeup, body paints, and all that kind of stuff. So knowing that she's UK based and seeing how these products function and me being uh, a makeup artist, plus a body painting, plus special effects. This stuff is a game changer all the way around the board. Um, so keep that in mind. Every time I'm using it, I'm gonna let you guys know the differences it's making for me, but this is doing three things in one for me. I'm using it for my clients already. I keep my old products in there, so my color correctors in there, my concealers are still in there, plus I'm keeping the P. Louise bases in there that I purchased. And seeing how they're working, I haven't touched my color correctors, I haven't touched my old concealers and the clients I've had since. So seeing that makes you go, I can almost get rid of them, but I'm not ready to do that yet. I want to make sure we're still not going to touch them just yet. So now that I'm done babbling, we're probably going to hand this off to voiceover um, Amanda so that we can get in and really work. I'm going to pull you guys in. We're going to do one eye look and then we'll give you the full face and show you how it works as a concealer and give you the overall finished look of everything from here. So make sure you guys hold on to your seats to see how this all works. I'm so excited to show you guys. All right, so let's start with our P. Louise Rumor 01 base and go on with our Morphe Brushes Unleash an Artist palette. We're gonna start by patting that Rumor 01 base all over our eye using a flat eyeshadow brush. We're gonna make sure those edges of that base are also blended out for when we go to um, put on foundation later, put any shadows on, make sure everything is real seamless. Remember, we want to use only padding for this. We want everything on. It's going to cover up everything, color correct, and make everything look seamless and give you that great base. Here, I just want to show you the difference between two eyes with base on and no base on. And next, you're going to see us going in with a small brush with that hot pink shade from the palette. We're just going in with that patting motion that I've told you that we need to do. We're going to do what's called the dump and blend. Literally going in, just patting where we want that shadow, and we're going to keep going in and getting more shadow and dumping where we want it. Keep adding for that intensity. I'm telling you, these bases will grip that color, that shade for exactly what it is. You won't lose pigment. You're not going to lose color and it's going to stick exactly where you want it. And then later we go in with a clean brush and blend it. So here you go. You're going to keep seeing me going in and adding more pink. I'm going to keep bringing it to exactly where I want it, bringing it up, bringing it out, bringing it in that crease. And then we'll later add colors and blend. But you can see right here, I'm just putting it in, blending a smidge around the corners, but we are going to get a clean brush to do that seamless blending around the edges and you'll see it happen as we go here we are with that clean slightly fluffy brush right on those edges as you can see they just disappear so seamless so easy you don't need any pressure when you're doing this lightly go around those edges to make them real even real seamless and flawless 
Next, it is time to add some of that purple shade. This is one of the purple shades in the Alicia Inner's palette. I'm just going to deepen this um, crease up a little bit. So we're going and adding some of that purple. As you can see, I keep adding and keep adding to intensify that shade. And we're going to keep layering it till we get that color. But you can see we can layer it on that pink. And that purple is still showing. It's exactly where I put it. It's giving me that exact purple shade that I want. It's not mixing. It's not muddying. And it's going to blend. This is what the P. Louise base does for you. You're going to see every shade when I am done with this eye look. And that's what's great about it. Here we are going back in with the pink. Helping it blend a little bit. There we go. You can see everything blending. And we do this a little bit. And then I'm going to go add more purple in as we go. You're going to see this time and time again as I go. Remember, with each new shade you use, you need to get a clean brush. You can designate this brush and use it as many times as you need to. But you need to have a clean brush for every shade. And that blending brush that you have, you can use it as many times as you need to. But that brush needs to be designated for specifically blending. Here we are adding a third color, which is the darkest purple shade in this palette. We're going to really deepen up that crease. That purple, when you put it in here, looks almost so close to black or charcoal-like color. But we really want to add some depth, depth to this, give that eye that three dimension. When we go to do the cut crease, you're really going to see the dimension come to life on this, which is what I really like. But also keep an eye on this blend. Like I said, we're going to put in this purple, this dark purple. Go back in with that secondary purple and then we're going to go in with our first shade of pink. Here I am going in to cut the crease. I'm using that brush we used earlier and just going in and patting on that Rumor 02. If you want to make this more of a white base, please use 00. Make sure if you wanted that super white base that you go in and clean this completely off with a makeup wipe, a Q-tip, with water, whatever it may be. Um, this one I didn't clean because I was going to put a purple on it anyways, a purple shimmer. So I just went through, cut it, and then we put the shimmer shadow over it. Um, but make sure you are real precise with this. Use this brush and later went in off camera and used a smaller brush to detail that line up a little bit. And make sure everything's set exactly where I needed to on my eye socket. Um, just make sure that back end of the cut crease is blended a little bit so you don't have any harsh lines when you go to blend those shadows in. Never forget that pattern motion. Key point to using these bases. Always remember to pat and do that back end right there. Pat that too. If you can't get your brush in there, use your finger. You're going to see me do this right here. I went in with my finger just to make sure that back end was blended. Now we're going in with that purple shimmer shade from the Alicia Inner Artist palette from Morphe. We're going to pat that in and I wasn't liking the shimmer so much on it. So eventually we go in with my finger and we just pack it on really well with that patting motion yet again. Because sometimes these brushes just don't pick up those shimmer shadows from the Morphe palettes and that's okay. We just got to get it on there and generally the finger is what does the job the right way. You guys know what I'm talking about. It just does it. <laughs> Here we are going in with that dark purple shade yet again with that same brush that we've been using. Adding it to the back to deepen it. We're giving that eye that depth in that back corner. That's what's going to make it look three dimensional. We're giving it all that shape back. Making it look 3D depth. We're going to go back in with that secondary purple. And all that we're going to blend everything and make it look real seamless. It all comes to life. I really love how you can see it all come together. Here's that secondary purple we're going in, looking at it all come to life. You know, sometimes I look over these videos and wonder if I should add shadow here and there, and there's spots in here. I want to fix it. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> so we are back. As you can see, both eyes are done. We are primed and we have our foundation on, but we have no concealer on yet and we have not set our base yet. So we're going to use our P. Louise Rumor 01 base as a concealer. 
And I just want to show you guys what that's going to look like when we go to put it on. And how well it all works as well. How easy it works, how seamless it works, and all that jazz. So, I'm going to take one of my concealer brushes. I'm going to pat it right under. Remember, we have to use a patting motion with this type of stuff. With the bases. And it's up to you how much you really want on. Or how much you want highlighted. And where you want to highlight. And then instead of using like a big sponge or anything like that, I like to go in with one of my smaller face brushes. This is a Luxie flat angled brush and I'll go through and I just blend around those areas. Make sure it's all blended, blended in really well. But just patty motions. Remember, this stuff is not meant to be dragged and moved around. Just pat. You can see where we've lightened under the eyes. My bags have literally disappeared. I'm going to go back in with my foundation brush. You see how this is almost two different shades. We want to make sure our foundation and our concealer blend. Just made sure to go back and with the same tool I used to put on my foundation, which was my my brush from Luxie that had my foundation shade on it, and I went through and just blended them together right on that line, and I patted it. And now we're ready to go set. All right, guys. So here's today's finished look using the P. Louise base in Rumor 01. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And this look, I have to say, I'm just in love with these bases. They make such a difference. And everything that I've been doing, like I said, from doing your eye bases, your concealing, your color correcting, this is now my go-to guy. I've been using it in all my looks, even though I haven't been doing much yet. But I'm using it in my looks. I've been using it on the clients. And it's just, it's different. So if you decide to go ahead and purchase, they are now available on P. Louise's website. It's also available on Morphe's website. Make sure you take the time to sit and practice with it before you just jump in and go for the day. It is definitely a different product than what you're used to. I definitely had to sit down and play with it before I sat down and talked to you guys about it. It wasn't something I could just jump in and do. I needed to learn about it. I needed to play with it to see what it was about and how it worked best. Um, but it's exactly like her videos. If you've seen the videos over on Morphe's website specifically for the P. Louise products or if you head over to her website, if you're on her Instagram, anything like that, the videos tell you exactly how to use these products, how to blend it. The Morphe's website will even give you specific brushes they use it for Morphe that will work 
perfectly with her products. So make sure you're checking out your sources out. Do your research, read the descriptions, go through any of the questions and answers when consumers are asking those things because I do that as well, just like you guys will. Before I'm purchasing things, I'm really watching for things and, and seeing what everybody's going through and whatnot with products. But like I said, these are a game changer. It's like a three in one for anything that you're doing and she's already up in the game with metallics this year coming out in the acid rain form. So I'm so, so excited to see what's going on. I haven't played with these enough to really get my creative self in there yet. So you guys really gotta like get in there and check. If you're into colors and everything like that, definitely check that stuff out. But she has such great regular neutral tone bases that you can sit and create some dope stuff with those too. And that's something else I wanna really look into because you can, Take these and I want to see what else we can do with these besides just doing our neutral regular everyday basis See if there's something else that I could do to blend and create a neutral eye without having to use a whole lot of shadow um, See what you guys can do with it and give you guys some options Like I said, I want to try and make this a series. I want to be doing YouTube more for you guys So like I said, we showed you rumor all one today. I want to do um, more to show you how to use these different bases together. I want to show you how to use the color bases I want to show you how to use the acid rains, but I'm still learning myself So as I learn, we're gonna put out more videos for this stuff Keep an eye out for it. The P. Louis stuff anything from the UK is definitely ahead of the game from anything going on in the US as of right now I promise you doing anything makeup related and, and doing body paint doing all the special effects if you're doing a bunch of different realms like I am you're definitely seeing that there's certain things that are just ahead of the game than any other regular makeup product. We want multitaskers, we want things that are gonna perform and they're gonna withhold everything that we're doing. This is it, you guys, I promise you. Anyways, thanks so much for hanging out. Make sure you subscribe so you can keep up with everything that we're doing and I will see you in my next video. Love you.